Hello, it's Dave Herman, uh, alias Daz the Artist. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, not too many people watch these videos because I don't do much to promote them, but uh, you get to watch me work on my Kingfisher illustration. Let me uh, show you the full illustration first. Uh, view fit on screen. Boom, there we go. So this is just hand drawn. If I turn off layers, like this is uh, tail feathers. So you can see that in the wing on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, if I turn off chest feathers, you can see what I did there and some of the tree work. You turn off this, you can see my sketch. Turn off that, you can see the sketch of the head. I turn off the branch layer, you can see my actual sketch layer. And if I turn that off, you see the background. So there's the background, my sketch. Filling in a rough for the branch, filling in the head, filling in the body, and some details. Okay? So uh, let's go back to magnifying so I can work on the side of the feathers of this body. I'm just going to kind of put this in the center here and hit it like that. And I'm going to take the hand and move it up into here where I feel like working so you can see it. And I'm going to go over to my brush. Now I've selected this brush, which is brush 36. It's a flat brush. I'll bring the uh, brush tool onto the screen for you. So then I have it off screen. So there you go. You can see I've opened up this flat brush, brush 36, like a stipple brush. Flat, blunt, as they call it. And then I set the bristles to about, we can even go less, say like Let's go with about 17%. The length is okay. Thickness, okay. Uh, stiffness, I like them stiff. And the angles, okay. We can reduce the thickness a little. Let's go like that. And then I'm going to take this off screen so you don't have to look at it. And then we'll try and do some brush work, okay? So selected a light palette color, and I'm going to do some uh, feathers. And let's do those down here. Just uh, it's like a little bit here and there, varying with the pressure of my hand. Uh, the response is determined by that. And see when something strays out like that, you can edit and undo, or you can erase. Just step back. And step back. And that's gone. Okay. So here's a little harsh area. I can go by that a couple times. Bring this up. And I'll dull it down again as I shape feathers on there. But this is a start. Kind of come up under this wing. So there's a few layers of that. And then there's one that's going to be kind of a blue-gray layer. I'll pick something like this. We'll come into here. It's about as far down as I want to go with that. And I want that to be grayer. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do a little gray on it. And I want this to spread out more. And so I have to make the uh, thickness, uh, the spacing, a little more spacing-wise. And then thickness gets stiffness all the way up. So we get a different kind of stroke. So... Let's say we're trying to put a black stroke into there. Like that. Uh, 
I want to go up in percentage here. Lay down a little more gray in this area. There we go. There's some feathers that kind of fall out here. Uh, and they mix in with the tail feather. So we'll kind of come down like that. And then we'll have some black um, in here with a tail feather. Uh -huh. get some white and go around this edge and connect these together into one feather I'll show you we're going to kind of uh, so this is like this we're going to go let's get a stronger white kind of connect it like this so I want to be in white there we go I'm going to edit that out. I'm going to go a thinner line. I want it just on the edge. Not pressing as hard. Okay. And then I'm going to have some feathers poking through that are white. So we're going to shape this first. And I'm going to blur that in. The save. Yep, just uh, blurring over there, and uh, figure out what's going on here. Let's see. So I'm going to blur a little bit here, and then I'm going to make some changes and keep moving along. Right, let me go back to my brush and get some dense black. I'm going to uh, build some feathers down here just a little bit. I'm going to put some gray so I'm going to take the eyedropper, check on this gray, turn this box to that color, go back to brush and brush in some of that gray in here and should be uh, heavier here Still not quite dark enough over the black, but we have spaces now, see, so that's, there we go. Kind of get that integrity of the uh, texture, like, like a texture, yeah. And then go to black, let's see here. hundred percent black and uh, let's see what we can do here we're looking at this feather mess okay Just shaping some stuff. In fact, we're going to go to the airbrush for a minute. Go up to there, grab an airbrush. There we go. I'm going to smooth out some of this black and then add some textures to it. Oop. A little too hard, so you edit, undo, step back. 
go here and here. Okay. Dropping a little black along this edge. Out to here. Smoothing this a little bit. Let's make this a little wider. Like so. And bring it up into here a little bit. Take this one, you know, come down here, across the edge, so it's like tucked in, wrapped under a feather, and down here a little bit. Trying to dress up the tail a little bit, you know, from my sketch stage. And then I'll continue on working. We're just kind of tidying it up from all the sketch and the sloppiness of a sketch, you know. Okay, there we go. And then uh, some, we'll put some gray blotchy in there. So we'll do that into some parts of the feather, uh, almost uh, horizontal to it. That looks like little segments of feathers. That kind of stuff, and then we're going to blur that a little bit. Not sure how this looks to you guys, but I'll check in a, when I do it, my video check. All right, now let's see about erasing some of this stuff up here, just to taper this a little more. Keep that looking neat. I'm going to taper this now. Let's see. So I want this to actually cut across. I'm going to keep it in the picture like this instead of running off the picture. And then I'll take that a little bit. Like so. Uh, and then if this is under another layer, I can just go into that layer and see where it is. Okay. Then I can go back to tail feather. So I'm going to save this at the moment. File save. Okay. Then I'm going to texture this up kind of a little bit with a, kind of some green shades too. Let's go to the green gray. Like that. And do some of that in here. <sighs> A little too bright for what we're doing, but that's okay the way that edge looks. That doesn't bother me. And we'll come back here with some of that. And we've kind of fold it up, so fold it up in here. Let's make it interesting. 
some folding in here. To that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with that color. Just gently in here. And come back in with a darker shade, so I'll copy it with my eyedropper. I come down to this one, hit it, turns the box to the left to that color. Go back to my brush and make sure I'm kind of light, but not too light. Introduce some of this gray. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool. I like it. And then I'll take and do a little edging along here. I'm going to uh, tidy this up a little bit, just smooth. Looks kind of cool there. Now I want this, I want to change this plane of uh, a little bit into a V down here. So I'm going to uh, introduce some gray. Let's see how this works. I'm going to taper this down a little, like so. I'm going to bring this feather out a little bit. Kind of like that. Um, that's reasonably cool. Might even be shorter when I think about it. But uh, yeah, let's tape some off the outside edge here. So we're going to go back to our eraser. And I'm going to make this a little bit more towards the plane of the illustration the parallel to the bottom of the box. Like so. Must be on this level. So what I'm going to do is clone maybe some of this. So I'll take the eyedropper, I'll pick this color. I'm going to go back to brush. And I'm in the background layer, which somehow I worked on the background layer, so we're getting some of this out of there. Let's go to sketch layer. Let's go up to branch layer until we get it all out. There's a flex or somewhere coming from somewhere.
Let's see, so now we got to have that kind of curving towards us just a little bit um, right in here. Kind of bring this triangle up and shorten this feather. So we can kind of get that to look more realistically into the shape it would be. So we're coming up here. We'll be on the top layer of feathers and a little more pressure right here and kind of come up into this. Take that edge off right in here. And this feather's good coming up to here like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll put some light gray into that. So a medium gray, I should say. So I'm going to kind of uh, very lightly dust it in there, sort of. Like just kind of a little more. That and some spots, and then I have this kind of wing around there, and take this one up this way, take this like so. Looks pretty nice. Take and bring this into here, a little big bowler. The bodice inside the feather. Starting to shape. Then uh, this here is good. This is good, wider. This is okay. I think I can live with that. I might want a little bit of uh, gray into the feather itself. Let's see here. It's like so. And some black in there. So where are we? Okay, first we got that eraser going there. Then the brush. underneath here to get that separation a little bit of shadow <clears throat> some black feather cutting through in here with the blue on top so kind of Go here, make this one on top. <clears throat> yeah, this shape is kind of cool. I want to bring the white fluff out a little bit more. So I'll kind of do some of that. And then uh, I'm going to develop up these feathers now and I'll come back and think about that later so let me hit the file save and uh, what I want to do here maybe is have a separation just a little bit so we're going to a gray and kind of separate that. Some feather stuff going on, we're not quite sure. And then a little bit of white sticking out feathers like they have in there. So I'm going to take this way down. And some weirdness going on here. 
hard edged. Darker blue. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little darker yet, even. Like that. Black up here. So I'm just to make this work realistically. And I'll detail that up later. Detail that up. Could have a nice gray feather in here somewhere where it's just breaking through slightly. And darken that gray now that we've got that design. That going on. And I'm going to bring down some blue feathers into here. So let's go back to my other brush, that square brush. And Let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to come down here. I need to be very strong, I guess. Okay, and get some black and shape those. We're gonna start getting our way, working our way up into this bird. It's kind of uh, shaping though, as we kind of like that. It's gonna be a, a vein down the center. Like that. Sharpen up these edges. All right, I have a darker blue gray color. Let's go here and go a little darker. So select this way. It's like a pewter kind of feather. So I'm going to come in with that first. The black here, go back to the airbrush. And kind of do some work in here. Um, let's step back to this flower, I mean this feather. Alright, 
come up into here. Starting to figure out how I want these to lay down. Okay. Then I will have the next row is going to kind of cover. So we got to think those out. And then tie it in again to the next row. You start to put some detail into the feathers. You can see it's a slow work, just kind of picking them out, playing with it. Nothing's ever etched in stone, and they're not always easy to get to, but when you have layers, you can find everything. So, sometimes you gotta go stronger to have an effect. There you go. save that. Let's view it on the screen. It's starting to look like a tail and we're starting to develop the feathers that I will turn into stuff like this over here. I'm going to pause for a second. I'll be right back. And I'm back here. Uh, let's see. Let me zoom in again. your hand here so about like that and go back to work yeah okay so brush this is the rough idea I have and I'm gonna blur those and then I'll do some work on them A lot of times I just want it subtle, and it, sometimes you just can't lay it down that way, so you got to go back and play with it a little bit, you know? And then if you want to, like, like I want to stipple it a little bit now, so I'm going to go back to my uh, brush 36, and I'm going to come in here with some, like, uh, we'll first try the black, and if black's too heavy, we'll go with the gray, but just kind of, I'm going to put a texture to that. And I need to be uh, on the brush. So, brush. 
the blur. Let's try it. And that's too light, so we go darker. Just to give a little texture, we want to be a little more so you can see the feather type feel. There we go. That. And then these are actually rounded on the bird, but we'll do that later. So now I'm going to kind of just texture up some of this. We'll go dark first, and then I'll come back with brighter colors. But I want to have my background a little bit darker as I shape feathers out of this. And everything takes uh, time, you know. But uh, so we're putting a background to here, just a little darker. Then when we go lighter or make a stroke, you know, have something to contrast against. Right now it looks like scales. So birds um, and reptiles and stuff, their feathers and their scales lay down a lot similarly. Okay. Now, let's go to the blue and get into a lighter shade. I'll show you all something, something. Okay. Now, if I want the light to be coming in on this, here, I'll do that. See, and that's it. Gives you the feather feel. And uh, some can come towards me, some can go away from me, and so on. So I'm going to do some more of that feather feel. It looks like we've almost drawn all the individual feathers, but it's more important to get the feel for it than each one is super clean delineated. To show you what we mean as we do this. Some chest feathers. That. And then if I want it to really be a contrasty, I'll go very high in the white and make some harsh lines just so you can really see some feathers. Okay, kind of cool. And get into the light blue. And let's start some feather shapes here.
See, they use a little different shades, like the light is affecting it. Reflected light and stuff. Subtle light. Subtle tones. That. Let's bring a couple onto the tree. To the branch. Where the bird's sitting. Give it kind of a realistic lap right there. And lit up and kind of nice. And then some loose ends here. Pressing harder. See. Now these are tricky things to make look nice and subtle and uh, and work. So um, then you play back and forth with your colors. So let's start at the top and work our way down. If I pick a shade I like and go darker, a little bit darker. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. I'll start at the top. Maybe let me move this with the hand. Just a couple more minutes on this video. Okay. So we've got a feather here. See that edge? It's a nice edge. Make it a little bit smaller. Starting to feather up. And they will over time. But that's your basic idea. I'll work more off camera. Just want to show you how I get started in my thinking process for this, even. Because this is really a texturing, and with the textures, you're going to go back and forth between light and dark and get that build up just right and subtle. So let's save this, file save, let's view it on screen, let's get my cursor somewhere, view, fit on screen, okay. Now I'm going to save this stage as a JPEG, take myself a little break, come back and work, so first thing I'll do is file, save as, and then call it a JPEG. It'll bring up all my JPEGs. Find the last one, which was 8 or 9 or something like that. Find a 9. Change that to a 10. And save it. And then add it to my post on uh, ArtStation. So I'm David Isaac Herman on ArtStation. Thank you.